It's been just over a week since restaurants were given the green light to reopen and despite tough regulations to work around, they're feeling overwhelmingly positive about getting back into service. The reaction's been amazing. The support's been fantastic. People are so excited to be back out again. Uh, yeah, nice to, nice to see a lot of familiar faces in the restaurant, for sure. You know, even at half capacity, it feels like twice as much work to make sure that we're doing things the right way, and uh, be it the space tables or sanitization processes, uh, and you know, the, you know, the many things we've put into place, managing social distancing, uh, keeping groups smaller, uh, I could go on and on, but uh, you know, we're getting used to it, the new normal. They're also gearing up for the road closure of Bernard Avenue on July 1st, which will allow businesses to expand their patio area into the street, making up for the tables they lost due to physical distancing and maximum capacity regulations. Uh, we're excited. We do, uh, we do plan to uh, take advantage of it and, and set up uh, pop-up craft out on the sidewalk for sure. Um, so, uh, you know, we're, we're one of the bigger restaurants down here, so we've got, we have more space, but I think it's a great idea to, to allow some of these restaurants to get some tables out there, and we look forward to being a part of it. We were a little concerned about, like, the skip the dishes for the drivers and stuff. They were wondering if we were able to do um, pickup delivery, like, through the back alley. They were wondering if we could do that, so we don't know if we're going to be able to do that. But, um, yeah, I don't think it should be, like, too much, like, too bad for our business. People are still going to be walking downtown, right? So... Yeah, no, dining shouldn't be a problem. I'm a little worried about the delivery services, though, yeah. The plan for Bernard includes a six-metre-wide pedestrian lane down the middle of the road, wide enough for emergency vehicles and separated from the patio space by barriers. Forecast St. News in Kelowna, I'm Laura Brooks.